Okay, let's continue to mess with science. Ew. It came back to life. There's something like it. Gross. More. Okay, let's leave that alone. Part of me wants to open the tray and see if it runs off and does something, but... That's probably a terrible idea. Let's not do that. Of course. Oh, I know. I'm learning. Where am I going to keep that exactly? I don't have any pockets, do I? That thing was huge. You talk about Willis. Well, I guess we're gonna go downstairs now. This isn't downstairs, is it? ominous sound effects going on, but there's nothing really ominous happening here. What the hell is this now? Okay. like that. So... Uh... Uh... How do 
I inject it. Sound good. Are these supposed to match up differently, maybe? Probably have to line them all up at the bottom. Okay. I don't know if this thing's any good or not. Is that what a Cortex chip looks like? I don't know if I want to use that. Oh, sh what? Wow. That ain't right. I need. Let's see what happens. Wait. What? Oh. I thought you moved. Um, I think it was the top floor, wasn't it? Maybe. Or no, actually, it was so, it was the middle floor, wasn't it? I mean, medical. I think. Okay. Oh, 
Ross has been released into the air, apparently. Oh, no. So creepy. Shut the door. Too late. You died. Okay, let's try that again. This time we gotta just run for it. What isn't Lock happening? It's locked! What's going on? We managed to piss off another one of WoW's monsters. We have everything we need, right? Yeah. Let's get to work. So, what do I do with these things? We need to assemble your new body with the things you collected. Just stuff all of it into the suit of the dead body. Just cram it in at random. Okay. Oh. This is oh. Crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. That's why they call it the cortex sink, because the the line, camera lenses are my eyeballs. Gross. I'm gonna be that thing. Where does this go? Just make sure it's all bunched together with the structure jam connecting all the parts. All right, try activating the seat from the terminal again. Gross. I'm gonna be that. Uh, of course, I'm probably already that. Really. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it? Change body? Yes. If you want to stay here, I'm not going to stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would it be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right. Let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. The body you're in now isn't even your body anyway, Simon. Although I know it's kind of a weird situation anyway, but... Uh, I'm not gonna mess with that. I don't even know what to do with it anyway. Uh, except I'm not allowed to sit down yet, so I guess I have to do... We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current Cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. You lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. Oh, okay. Okay, more like that. I don't know what this offset is doing, though. Puzzles annoying. 
close. Got it. By randomly mashing buttons. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control. So please, have a seat. Alright, time to become Big Sorry Daddy. This should be over soon. It's like having your picture taken. But with the most expensive camera in the world. You know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. <laughs> Uh -huh. Back to Toronto. No. Okay. There must so. be something wrong. Can't you run a diagnosis or something? What was that? No, I. It's just. Why I'm still, was still in still it. Talking. It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. Why not? What did you think what happened? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What? What's gonna happen to him? Chill out, for man. A while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? So cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? I don't know. Maybe. Better than the alternative. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. Okay. Well. Choices to make, okay? Yeah, there's my camera eyes. So weird. At least I don't have that corrupted goo all over me anymore. You know what? Okay. So, I think the right thing to do would be to drain the battery because having him wake up here alone and pretty much abandoned and nothing he can do and just pretty much screwed. That doesn't seem like the right way to go. That's what I would want to do. But, I think it's going to be... It might throw some interesting story twists in if we leave him alive. So, while I don't personally morally agree with doing that, I think it's going to make the game more interesting if we, if we do that. So... Godspeed, buddy.
Obviously, I'm supposed to go that way, but I want to see what's over here. Huh, okay. Is this the way I'm supposed to go? Now I want to go back to the other one. I don't even know now. Oh, yeah, not that way. I'd rather have a more controlled descent than just falling. It's all business now. I wonder what I could have changed this to. Oh, just... okay. It's dumb luck, right? I woke up in the right body. It's a redundant copy. I'll never experience my journey, the full journey. He wouldn't understand. How could he? I couldn't do it, and you knew it. You were right in trying to hide him from me. I only wish you'd done a better job. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? That doesn't make any sense. You're in both I bodies. Know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right Simon. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind. Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? You're both of them, man. Please say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I could still feel how I had to, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the smog rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair and the sun was setting and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, 
I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the yard, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends? I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have... Or not. I mean, I don't still have... Catherine? Kath? Hello, Catherine. What happened? Okay, and that's the end of the episode. See you in the next one.